Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. Today I'm going to be doing the next five stages of the fan home release of Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. Are we back? So continuing the countdown to New York Comic Con, I'm doing another fan home release of the DeLorean. So I'm doing stages 57 to 61, and that means I'm actually finally going to get the bodywork on and connect all the electrics up, although we don't test it in this pack. Now you will need to check if you can still get this. I have put a link in the video description, and there's also a QR code on the screen. There's a lot to do today, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so we're going to start with stage 57. Here's the magazine. You can see we've got the uh, rear bulkhead here, which we're going to be mounting things like the Christmas tree to. And in the next stage, we will be doing the uh, flux capacitor. So I'm going to be putting all of this into place just like that. And this is the rest of the magazine. As you can see, there's the flux capacitor there. So stage 57 here. Let's get all of these open. And this is what that bulkhead's looking like. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to be putting some details just into here. So I've got one that looks like that, and that quite simply just going to go into the hole there. And the other one is going to go into the hole just there. Then I'm going to be held in for the other side with AP screws. So one and two. Perfect. But they're going to be taking the Christmas tree. That's looking just like this. And in a similar way, that's just going to be going into the recess sections just there. This time, this is held in with GP screws. They're held in through the smaller of the holes there. The larger holes are for the LEDs that are going to go behind it. So now that's looking like that. I could just put that to one side because I need this uh, control box now, which looks like that. Got a small details in here. I'm going to be pushing this one in through the holes. I can just about see on the top there. Get me a tweezers just to push them all the way in. One and two. That looks good. Just like that. And then I've got another one, which is just going on the end over here. Same way. Line it up and then get that pushed into the holes. Just checking that they are the other side there. You can glue those in if you want, but uh, I haven't glued mine. They look like that. Bringing over this bulkhead again, this is just going to be pushed into the position just here. And this time it's AP screws again, which is going to secure this into place. And I need two of these. So one there and one here. Another control box looking just like that. That's going to be going this way round, just onto this section here. So letting that lock into place, and you've guessed it, it's AP screws again. And two of these to hold that one into place. Now I'm just going to load up an AP screw, because the next bit's going to be a little bit fiddly. We've got a pipe that's going to come out of this section here. Now it has got a D-shaped hole on this side. So I need to seat this into position here, just like that, and then get an AP screw in to hold that pipe into place. Perfect. So that is how that's looking. Got another box, which is gonna go into this section here. Again, we've got two locating lugs, so that's gonna fit in just like that. And once again, AP screw. Definitely the screw of choice in this stage. Just through the top here. And then we've got a box which is exactly the same as that one. Which is just going to be going down the bottom here. And again, it is located which way around this goes. So it's going to go in there, leaving that hole at the bottom. And once again, a screw will hold that in. So that's what we've done. So far, that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 58, here's the magazine. And as you can see, we are now going to be putting the flux capacitor together and putting this into position on that bulkhead, just like this. 
This is the rest of the magazine. Excellent. I have all the parts here for that. And so first thing I want to do is I want to take the encasing for the flux box. And here's the flux bands here, which is going to go into place just in the middle like that. I am zooming up my top camera just a little bit to show you a bit more detail there. And we're going to hold that in place with AP screws again. Now this time I need three of these. So hold it in the middle. They basically go on the ends of each of those flux bands. So get all of these in. So now I'm going to be putting the top on this. Now all the decals are already in place on this. So just need to make sure we put this the right way around. So this is going to be going on top just like that. And once again, held in with AP screws. Now if I bring over the bulkhead we've been working on, this is going to be going into place just like that. But at the moment, we don't want to screw this into position. What we do want to do is start putting some pipes into this. So the first pipe I've got is this little silver one here. I'm going to be getting this into the holes that we can just see here. So now that should be pushed into position, just checking that. So that's in just like that. Okay, on the other side, we've got this one looking like that. The thicker lug goes towards the back. So I'm just gonna put that in here. You can kind of see why they don't want us to attach this at the moment, because it's gonna give you a little bit of room just to get this into position. And there we go, that's two in. And then I've got this pipe here, which is a silver one. It's got a keyhole pattern on it. That's just gonna go into the center of the flux capacity just here, just like that. It's gonna be held in from the other side, that one with an AP screw. Now remember, I haven't attached the flux capacity yet. I'm about to do that though. So once that's in, and I'm happy all of these pipes are straight in here. Let me just uh, straighten this one out just a touch. Perfect, so that's how that's looking. I now can attach the flux capacitor to the bulkhead. And for that, I need BP screws, two of these, and they're just going into these holes just at the back here. So one there, use my bigger screwdriver, and one on the other side. Now, next to that silver pipe we just put in, I've got a smaller silver pipe here, which has got a little nook just at the bottom there. That's just gonna go next to it, into that position just there. A bit more detail on this pipe. Uh, once again, AP screws, gently put that down. Perfect, again, making sure it's straight. You might need to just get yourself some pliers just to turn it so they're all completely straight there. And then we've got this gold pipe now, which is gonna be coming out the side again. There's a keyhole pattern for that. So that's gonna go in there just like that. Once again, held in with an AP screw. And again, just push that round. So that is now perfectly square as well. Looking good. Okay, we're gonna be putting a light into this now. Here is the light cable for the flux capacitor. It's labeled number 16. Quite simply, that's just going to go into this centre section just here and ensure that that's pushed in all the way. If you're not happy with the fit, which I'm not, I am going to glue this into place. Now when you do push this in, you want the uh, wires at the back here to be in this direction because I'm going to be folding that down just like that so it's flush to that section there. Tell you something else I'm going to do, they don't tell you to do this, but uh, just to keep that into position and to aid a little bit of light block, I'm going to uh, just put a bit of tape over the back of that. As you can see, that's going to hold that into place. Now I'm going to be tracing this wire through this little gate just here, and in this gate I'm going to be putting a clip. That's going to keep that into place, and once again, AP screw. And that's going to hold that wire in. Excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 59, this is actually quite a little fiddly stage, this one, because as you see, we've got some wires here, we've got a fan and some cables. 
going to be putting all this together onto the bulkhead, but then we're actually putting the bulkhead onto, we haven't seen this for a while, the interior of the car looking just like that. Now, let me just put that to one side. The reason why it's going to get a little bit hard is because we are then going to start connecting the rest of the electrics up and uh, the pipes that are coming out the back as well, putting those in. So that is how that's going to be looking. Pretty impressive. So here's all the parts for stage 59. And the first pipe I need looks just like this. Now, this is going to be going into the top here, but I'm going to be threading this behind that pipe we put in first getting that into this rear wall. Again, you might need tweezers just to help push that down into position like that. So now that's coming out the bottom, you see. Put that to one side and you'll notice that I've got this black cable now. Now on that, I need to put some brackets. Now those brackets are purple. I hope they're purple. That's my color blindness saying they're purple. They might be pink, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just going to be threading these down this pipe. So one here might be worth noting that uh, we do have two pipes, a small one and a large one. It's the smaller one that I want. Yeah, I might need my pliers to hold the end of that so I can just push that down like that. And then I can put the second one in. There we go. That's the second one in. Once again, try and get it as far as you can. And then you'll be able to should be able to grab it and pull it through just like that that should be enough now i get my pliers on it and there we go push that one down as well now these are going to be going underneath the christmas tree so i want one right at the end just lining this up bring that over that's going to go in there the other one i'm just going to pull that up to that position there there we go that's those two in like that now just put that to one side and take the smaller cable now and i'm going to be putting that onto this part here now this is going to be going into here so make sure you get this the right way around you can see i've got some glue in my hand because the pipe is going to go to the nipple nearest to the flux capacitor here i am putting some glue on this one because this is fitting in quite loose get that pipe in and then I'll be able to put this into position just like that. Once again, it's going to be held in from the other side with AP screws. That's perfect. And then the other side of this is going to have the pipe that we just had here. It's going to be going into this side of this unit. Push that in. Again, I'm going to put some glue on that. So that's that into position there. I'm going to be putting the Christmas tree lights in. These are green lights here, labelled number 15. Again, I might have to uh, put some glue in these. I'm just going to see how these fit. Now, these are really tight. I'm not going to need to glue these. So put them in. Tight so I can get them. Then I'm going to fold these down. One and two. And you know what? Just like I did last time, I am going to put some tape over those. Perfect. Again, it doesn't ask you to do that. I'm just doing that for my own peace of mind. We've got another clip. Because we want to trace these wires just through the points there. Put the clip in the bigger hole or the lug, and then it's going to screw it into the smaller hole. Once again, with an AP screw. Then it's a case of bringing over, let's just move all this out of the way here. Bringing over the interior. Now they want me to connect this cable up to the hole at the bottom of the flux capacitor. I'm not going to do that until this is actually in place. So I'm going to leave that one till last. What I am going to do is now put this bulkhead into position here, just over the lugs that we've got at the end. So I'm making sure it's all fitting. I'm going to be holding those in with FP screws. Now you don't want to pinch any wires under this bulkhead. So, probably best on the top camera. I'm going to link up, I think. Let's have a look. This one here first. Now, while I'm putting the one in this end, I need to ensure that, that pipe is engaged to the bulkhead there. 
just like that and I should be able to get this in from the underside then remember that pipe that I wanted to ensure was lined up that's actually going to be connected with an FP screw as well so I have ensured it's in there just put an FP screw through the hole here perfect so now that is that bulkhead in place now if you look on the top camera this wire here number 16 is going to be plugging into port 16 again with the numbers all facing the same way you may just be able to make this out so i'm going to put that in here and push that down perfect so that's the flux capacitor in place then i've got the christmas tree lights which is number 15 here and if you can see that, that's going to go next to it. Again, make sure all the numbers are facing the same way. And push that all the way down. Perfect. Then I've got this ribbon cable, which I can put in now. Again, I want the letters to be facing upwards to me when it's going into this white plug here. So just bring that round. And plug this ribbon cable in here so time to get your tweezers out the cable that's coming down from the top is now going to be plugging into this board where the fire extinguisher is in let's get that in so there you go that's in just there i've got these three pipes coming out here now these are going to be going into this back box just over here now there are bigger holes so the one with the bigger hole is going at the bottom push that in then we've got the smaller ones going either side here one there again i'm going to get me tweezers to help me one there so and just put them behind there but that's how they're looking and then i've got this big colored ribbon cable here i'm just going to tidy up underneath these wires and that's going into the top now you can train those wires down into whatever position you want, but that's those ones in. On the other side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to have the ribbon wire here going into the middle hole this time. I've got a big thick one, thick black one going at the bottom. And then I've got the two smaller ones here going at the top. So that is now how that's looking. Now I want to bring over the car here, looking just like that. This is the chassis of the car. And I'm going to be putting this into position here, but I don't want to hide these wires because I need to put these wires into position. So what I'm going to do is gently hold this into position here. And I'm looking for plugs. Well, actually, I'm plugging all of these in by the look of it. <laughs> so. Uh, let me do that now. That took an insane amount of time, but as you can see, all the numbers facing upwards of the top row and then down below, they're facing downwards. You just need to make sure they're all in the same position. You'll find it a lot easier to do this if you take that ribbon cable out, put them all in, and then put the ribbon cable in. Then all the other plugs are just gonna come out the side just here. So I should have seven cables coming out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've actually got eight. So I'm guessing this one, number 21, probably goes somewhere else. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it there. I can move this around to where I'm going to need it. Now, when I've got this in, I need to make sure that the steering column now, which you can see on this camera, is going into the hole just here. So I'm going to put that through. Make sure that's sitting into position there. It actually needs to go there. That's perfect. So it needs to go underneath that section there. And then I want these DM screws because I'm about to fix the floor pan to the floor. So it does mean moving some of these wires just out the way to start off with because my first hole is just down there. So I'm going into metal, put that in some oil, and get this in. Now this is going to dictate if I've got this in the right place or not. There you go, I've got it in the right place. So I've only just put one in very gently at the moment, just so I can line up the whole floor pan here. 
I've got another one just on this side, and that one's in fine. So because I've got two opposite corners in, I can now make these as tight as I can get them. And then in a situation, just to put the other two corners in, And as you can see, they're going to go in absolutely fine. Last one's just going into the back here. Having to use a thinner screwdriver just to get that through. It's hard to get it where the chair is. But that's in perfectly as well. So then just tidy up all these wires. I think we're looking good. The only other thing that I still need to do in this, remember I said I was going to leave this cable here till last that goes underneath the flux capacitor? Well, I'm going to just plug that in now. Just like that. All that's left to do then is I've got this little catch here, which is going to stop the steering wheel going anywhere. I'm going to hold that in with BM screws. So one in this side. Just put that gently for now because I've got another one. It's going to go on this side, but I don't want to pinch this wire. So I'm going to make sure that it's not in the screw hole there. Perfect, that's good. Make sure the steering still steers, which it does, as you can see there. Excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now I'm gonna do the last two stages together, and you'll see why here. In stage 60, we have got the full bodywork of the car without the panels on. So I'm gonna be taking these reinforcement postage sort of uh, bars out because they just stop it from warping. I'm going to be putting the bolts into the door here, looking just like that, and then that's that stage complete. And that's the rest of the magazine. And then if I just bring over stage 61, you'll be able to see I've got the rear section of that. Again, I've got the catches for the door lock here. Again, another posted reinforcement bar there, which I need to take out and then attaching this. So basically we've got the whole bodywork frame in these two stages. So there you go, this is what that's looking like. They do provide a big screwdriver as well, which is gonna be handy. I'm actually gonna use this screwdriver just to get these bars out of here. So you're not gonna need these. You can use this on the bigger screws. So once you take these out, they can be discarded. So there you go, they're all out. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting the door catches on here. So to do that, I just need one of the bolts and one of the springs here. Just see if I can separate these springs. There you go. Put that down the longer shaft just there. Bring over the car here. It's just gonna go into this little indent that you can just see there. So the spring's gonna go on the inside. You don't want this to ping off, so be careful. You wanna push this whole thing in so it's seated in there. Now it's gonna gently lift it off just like that. Please don't ping off. I'm gonna take the left lock, which has got an L on it, and that lug is gonna go in the very top corner there. So that fits in like that. That can't ping out now. It's gonna be held in with an AM screw. So that's in position. Just check that that is spring loaded in there. Perfect. Okay, do the same on the other side. Put the spring in the shaft. Shaft in this recess, perfect. Put the cover over the top, and then an AM screw to hold that into place. And then just check that that works. Excellent, and that's all there is to do in that stage. I've got to take off this reinforcement bar again. And at the back here of this, you see I've got this little section here, I've got a tiny part here that I just need to slot in. That's gonna go in just like that. On top of that, I've got a little spring to put on. I hate working with springs. But there you go. That's gently in position. You can see that on the top camera. And then I've got this little bracket here, which is going to hold all of that into place. Make sure the spring is engaged to that. Excellent. Now I'm holding that in. That can't move, but I'm holding it in with NM screws. Get that in this side here. Once one's in, that can't move, so I can then put the other one in. Make sure you put it around the right way so that the open side of this is facing up. Perfect. And I'm now in a position to actually put this on the main body of the car. So if I have this just upside down like this, 
this section's going to be going on top, just like that. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting OM screws just into the holes at the side. So, one in this hole here. I've put this in oil. You do want this to be as tight as you can possibly get it. And then one in this hole just underneath. Perfect. Do the same on the other side here. Perfect. And then finally, we've just got four along the center there. <laughs> I thought I was working on the rear of the car. Here. This is the front. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, it's been a long day. And there you go. So, with those in position, and that is looking just like that, that's all there is to do in that stage, that's all there is to do in that pack. Now I think what I'm gonna do, to actually keep this all in one place, I think I'm in a position that I can just put this over the top. So, I'm just gonna leave these wires here, and I'll be storing this kind of like this over the top. If anything, gives us an idea of how that's gonna to go together. But there you go. So what do you think? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? I'm glad uh, that it's all gone together. Now off camera, I just did a quick check to see if the electrics work. They work perfectly, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is the second time I built a DeLorean, and trust me, this has gone together so much easier. Uh, but remember, when I first built the DeLorean, it was only the second model I'd ever built. So uh, I've learned a lot since then. So I'm hoping if you're following my advice, uh, then uh, you're having an easy time of it like me. We've still got issue 91 to do yet. Yeah, believe me, that's going to be a challenge. Anyway, I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.